Hey everyone, today I'm making my 19th Let's Play video, and I got the update, so we're going to get those gems, and also today we are getting our 28 day epic, so let's hope we get something good, and we got another Savage Chief. Um, well, I'm not going to do anything with it for now, but tell me in the comments below if you think I should use it, okay, so we got 500 gems from that, tell me in the comments below if you think that um, I should use it as an aid, or if I should use it as, um, for glory for my Savage Chief. So I'll get one glory on the Savage Chief, or increase the, a deployed hero's HP by 2%, and so that'll get better once I upgrade the skill. So let me know what you think I should do, and also, lately I've been spending all my gems on, well not lately, but the whole time, I've been spending all my gems on the 450 gem higher, so let me know if you think that I should um, spend the gems on Lucky Spin and if, if you think I should save up rings. So I'll do that, or I could do, or I could just not do that, just spend gems on a 450 higher, which is more exciting, but may not be the best way to go. So I'll just upgrade this Blitz Bomber because I'm trying to get them all up to level 80. And also once we get this Town Hall upgraded, we'll get the next um, Hero Hall. Or, yeah, Hero Hall, where we can put our Glory Priestess. And I should also start um, leveling up an EX EXP card to get that ready. To get that, um, get it ready so that I can level up the Glory Priestess fast. Anyways, so let's get started with our resource raids. And, um, see, this one has no gold at all. Actually, first let's look at what we want to upgrade. So, let's see. It says we need to upgrade our sniper tower level 11. We have level 8 one, so, yeah, we definitely need to upgrade that sniper tower. And, um, yeah, let's just, let's just save up 30,000 more gold. And, so, yeah, we just need to find a good base. Um, let's see, I think I'll just place all my troops down to get that 60,000 right over there, and then just back out quickly, once I get it, okay, 30,000, good enough, so, now we can get that sniper tower, yep, okay, so we got that sniper tower, now we have two more builders left, and I'm thinking about upgrading, let's see. Oh, I should probably start, I should upgrade some of these low-leveled things. Probably going to have to upgrade my Magic Tower 2 to level 3. So let's save it for that, actually. 270,000. Let's get to that. Um, nope. All these are... Giving way too little, way too small amount of gold. See, I would attack this one because of all the gold, but it's too well protected. You know, I'll just see if I can get some of it out of these mines. I'll let them run around a bit. If anybody's about to. Oh, wait, somebody already died? Oh, I guess my Savage Chief died. Okay, well, might as well just go all the way with it. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more gold out of this. was not planning on doing this much, but oh well. And everybody died. Okay. So we got 76,000 gold, which is alright. And we also got our 50 jewels. And, um, yeah, okay, so another thing that I want to say is that our guild, GameNet UT, is in the top, is one of the top 200 guilds. We are at 11,000, um, trophies. We only require 800 trophies to join. We only have 27 members right now. And, oh, okay, we got 800 tools. And if you look at the ranking, we're at one, number 181. So, yeah, we're doing, we're doing really well. Yep, see over here. Number 181, GameNet UT. That's our guild. 
join it. We're in the top 200 now, so that's an even better reason to join. And that way we can move up the ranks, get to the top 50 so we can get rewards. And, okay, so 30 seconds left. In the future, I'll just speed up the video or cut straight to when they're revived. Oh, sorry, that's a habit. Um, last thing we need to build is the victory statue, which is really expensive, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, just wait for everybody to revive, and then we'll try to get some more gold, and then last, we will just try to get those three, or I guess five, three-star raids so that we can get the EXP cards. And yeah, that's what we're going to try to finish before time runs out. Oh, this is an easy one. I think we could beat this one without losing anybody. Yeah, so I'll just speed up the videos when I'm attacking. Usually, unless I have something to say, then I'll just slow it back down in the middle. But, um, yeah. That way you don't have to sit here and watch me watch a braid just slowly unfold. Nobody has a lot of gold. Okay, another easy three star. So I'll just speed it up again. Okay, another easy three star. So I guess I'm not going to do um, getting gold and getting three stars in any specific order. We'll just do it in the way that it unfolds. Wow, okay. This guy has no defenses at all, except for that one sniper tower. I didn't even know that was possible. I thought the tutorial may force you to get one cannon. Um, one guy might die because they have pretty high level heroes, but... Maybe not. Maybe they will... I don't know. Yep, okay. Savage Chief died. Oh well. I'll just speed up the video when I get back so that you don't have to wait. Okay, and yep, another easy three star. There's nothing in the corners. Maybe you can skip the tutorial. Maybe that's how he only has the sniper tower. I think that's the case. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the part of the video where the Savage Chief is reviving. Okay, so. I'm back, and Savage Chief is alive again, so let's start another raid. And this one's another easy one, so we'll attack this one too. Okay, so there's just those three Builder's Huts left, and... That'll be another easy 100%. Yep. Alright, so um, I also decided while that raid was going on that I'm going to do the 450 higher just because there's a 2 times chance that to get Rainy Ven or the new hero, whatever her name is. And um, I know that it might not actually be true, but I'm just going to take it as a chance anyways. So hopefully I'll be lucky. And I got an epic EXP card. That's like the most frustrating thing to get on this game. Because even though it's alright, I mean, it's really frustrating to get a gold EXP card. Because you see the yellow at the beginning and you think, oh, I'm getting an epic. But then it's just the gold EXP card. And it's completely useless. Actually, forgot I was going to level up that Blitz Bomber. Whatever, I'll just, with the other gold EXP cards that we get from raiding, I'll just do with that. Um, let's see. I think I'll attack this one just for the easy three star. Put all the troops down, oh, oops, oh. That Savage Chief is gonna fail, I guess. Oh well. 
Okay, well, the Savage Chief is done for, even if I had used its skill. So, I'm just going to get the easy 100%, even though Savage Chief died. That was just because I accidentally placed it down, but, oh well. I don't know why that Blitz Bomber was shooting at that wall to get to the Dark Rider. That was completely useless. They do that sometimes, my heroes and the troops. I've seen the Ox Warriors just com completely fail and just attack a wall for the entire raid. A wall that's like at the very beginning. And even after all the buildings around it are destroyed, it still attacks that wall. Even if there's a path to the next building. So I guess it's just another one of those bugs. It'll be fixed though. So another 100%. And we got the gold EXP card, and we just need some more money now. And then we're good. So I'll cut the video to when they're all revived. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and both my heroes are revived. So let's find somebody with a good amount of gold, which is really hard because we keep finding people with no gold at all. Um, this one has an R, I don't know, but not enough gold for the risk. Nope. I'm looking for about a hundred thousand, but I'll take fifty thousand. Wow, nothing. Um, I think I can attack this guy. Yeah, let's attack this guy. Victory statue is way on the outside, so easily got rid of that. Now it's just a matter of fighting through and trying to get to all those gold mines and, and gold storages. They have pretty low-leveled heroes. They just have a pretty big base, but low-level base too, so... Should be alright, I think. Yeah. And now, okay, all the heroes are gone, and and now we just need to get all of the gold before the towers can destroy us, destroy our heroes. So we just got to the other gold storage, which is, I think, where most of the gold was. Yep, okay. Just 10,000 more. I think we can get it. Yep. Okay, all the all the defenses are destroyed. And nothing in the corner, so we can even 100% this guy. Hopefully get a boost. And also we got over 100, like 170,000 gold or something like that. So that was really nice. And that's going to give us some leftover gold for our last upgrade too. Just as we're running out of time. So, after we do the upgrades, it's going to be it for the episode. So, 100%, 3 stars, 170,000 gold, and no extra gold. But that's okay. We can upgrade our magic tower, have 85,000 gold left over to upgrade one of these two. Or this, with this can. Yeah, let's upgrade our air defense level two. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. Join our guild, GameNet UT, top 200. Um, we just got there, and we have awesome guild members. A lot of them talk, especially a lot of people in the top 10, or like top 6. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video, and um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see the rest of the videos and other videos that come out. Thanks for watching. Bye.